Okay, this question is a biggie, so here we go. This is from Beck Lawson. How did you manage your time when you were first starting out? I run a makeup business and I try to keep my advertising budget to the very minimum and choose instead to try to gain clients through social media. But sometimes this finds me wasting so much time scrolling through feeds for inspiration and ideas on deciding what is the best content to put forward. I would love your thoughts and how to best prioritize and manage this for the best results. So I'm going to break that down, Beck. Let's start with managing your time when you're starting out. So it's really all about the power of leverage. So whether you're a team of one and you're a solopreneur working from your kitchen table, it's really important to surround yourself with an incredible team. Now that might be just freelancers or subbies or you know whatever it is that you've got going at the first, in the first instance. But as an entrepreneur, I certainly find that having a great team around me is the best way to do it. So that will help you to manage your time. Start to realize what you're really, really good at and what you're crap at. I am crap, I mean crap at detail. So I have lots and lots of people around me that will implement things. So work out what you're good at, what you're not good at, and hire your weaknesses. Okay, Beck. so the second part of your question, you talked about keeping your advertising to a minimum as a startup. Now this is going to sound really weird from someone who owns a print magazine, but I actually couldn't agree more. I know that sounds crazy, you might think that that's what I rely on as my sole source of revenue. But to be honest, in nearly 14 years of business, I've not spent a single cent on advertising dollars. So what I would suggest is you find like-minded, non-competing partners who share similar databases. That's largely how I've grown the collective. We're now in 37 countries with the print magazine. So get really, really clever about the art of PR, the art of collaboration, and tapping into all sorts of people who've been there before you. That would be my advice. So Beck, the third part of your question was about getting clients through social media. Now you've said that you spend time, time, time scrolling, scrolling, scrolling and I know because I do a lot of it myself every day, I can spend loads of time on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you know they are the biggest suckers of energy. So what I would suggest is you find influencers. So find people, if you're in makeup, then find people who can help amplify your brand. People with huge social media followings who you can send your product to, they can trial it, they can post it, they can do all sorts of things to share it with their community. Someone once said to me years ago, they wanted to get to doctors in Australia. And I said to them, how are you gonna do it? And they said, oh, I think there's like 3,000 doctors or whatever the figure was. And they said they were literally, literally gonna cold call and direct mail 3,000 plus doctors. Now I said, why wouldn't you just go to the General Practitioners Association that is the peak body and get them to do all the work for you? So that's something to think about. Anyway, thanks Beck. great long question, but I hope I've answered it.